are off limits to most predators, which is why sure-footed markhor use them as safe havens. But even they make mistakes. If a markhor falls to its death, it's an easy meal no one overlooks. The vulture isn't always the first to arrive, but it easily bullies the ravens to one side. A shift in the weather heralds the end of Chitralgol's harsh summer. It's when the park's most celebrated resident, the Markor, faced their greatest challenges. From Chitral Gull's highest peaks, autumn chill descends through the valleys. It's the signal for Markor to move downslope in readiness for the bitter winter ahead. Markor are one of the largest wild goats in the world. Males can weigh over 100 kilos, and their impressive corkscrew horns are often over a meter long. Females are much smaller, but this can be an advantage when the Markor move into the stands of holly oak, which provide them with a staple diet of acorns and leaves at this time of year. The lightly built females can climb right into the trees to reach the younger, more succulent leaves growing on the tips of the branches. Their split toes and the sensitive leathery soles on their feet give them excellent grip. The very same balance and agility that allows them to leap so effortlessly across sheer rock walls. The males are powerfully built and their balance is extraordinary too, but they're simply too heavy to climb a tree. Instead, they thrash their heavy horns to try to dislodge the leaves and acorns. Once the food has fallen, size trumps agility. Since leaving the high-altitude summer pastures, they'll have been spending 8 to 12 hours each day looking for something to eat among the rocky crevices and gullies. Females, together with this year's young, huddle into small herds, as much for safety as anything else. There's always danger about. The older animals know their way around the landscape. The youngsters need to learn, not just escape routes, but where to find an essential ingredient that's missing from their normal diet. It's on the other side of this mountain stream. Fast-flowing meltwater has cut through the rock, exposing banks of mineral salts. The Markor need to lick at the rock salt to make sure they get the supplements they need. It's vital they stay healthy for the difficult months ahead.
In the first two weeks of December, the male Marco face their toughest time of the year. The males mostly live alone, but now they seek each other out. Tentatively, nervously, they will be sizing each other up. After days working out who has the best chance of mating with the nearest females, battle commences. It's not just their size and power that counts. The terrain and their choice of standpoint can be make or break. The stakes are so high, the tension and clashes continue well past sundown. A clear winner will mate with up to 30 females. The loser faces an uncertain future. With snow already dusting the higher slopes, life's about to get even harder. Winter is a punishing time of year. Meters of snow can blanket Chitralgar. The Markur remain at lower elevations, still reliant on the Hollyoaks to keep hunger at bay. <laughs> 